Hello Capricorn, this is going to be your love reading. This will be a reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, but it will be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Capricorn watching. Just keep that in mind. Check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. I'm gonna be doing a past, present, and future spread in regards to love. So even though I mentioned past, present, and future, time is fluid. So the situation I talk about today could have already happened, be currently happening, or happen in the near future. Um, for today's reading, I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently. I've pre-shuffled the oracle cards, so all I'll do on camera is split the deck and just pick the card that is at the top to just save some time, and then I'll do um, the tarot. So I'll be clarifying with a new deck that I have that I absolutely love. So we're going to get right into it, Capricorn. Let's start with this oracle deck. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented recently on the videos. I really appreciate it and I read all of your comments. Okay, first message is coming apart. Gemini had this as well, okay. Coming apart. And what do we have here for this other message? fork in the road interesting so some sort of ending possibly here it could have been a connection that ended in the past or recently ended and now there is a fork in the road a decision that needs to be made about where you are headed Capricorn so we will clarify and see what the tarot has to say about this situation For Capricorn, please. That's just for Capricorn. For love. Does Capricorn need to know in regards to love? All right, Capricorn. Let's see what we have here. All right, so we'll start there. Judgment. And I'm just going to lay the cards down. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Three of Swords. Okay, so something in the past was painful here. Um, someone wondered if they made the effort or they put in the effort in the right person. They were wondering if something was ever going to happen, if something was ever going to grow. And someone made a judgment call here. There was an awakening of some sort. Um, we are gonna clarify all of these, but that's what I'm getting so far. The Fool, beautiful energy. All about taking a leap of faith, starting something new. King of Pentacles, something more stable, it seems like. And the Wheel of Fortune, wow. Yeah, the wheel is turning here. Um, this is all about good luck, timing, um, fate being on your side here. Knight of Swords. The Sun, wow. Okay, Capricorn. Three of Wands, love it. So I feel like Three of Wands and Fork in the Road are very um, similar messages. Bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Swords. So a lot of you are stress. oh wow, but look what's behind that, the Page of Pentacles. Some of you are probably stressing or anxious um, about this coming apart or, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the stand there. <laughs> Some of you are probably a little bit stressed or just recovering from whatever happened here with coming apart. Um, so let's get into the tarot here and clarify what all of these energies are about. Spirit, help me clarify these messages for Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn in love. Messages for Capricorn. Let's start with this Nine of Swords. Tell me about this Nine of Swords for Capricorn. Tell me about the Nine of Swords, please. What is this energy all about, Spirit? This is someone who has not been able to sleep very well, possibly could be feeling guilt as well. Ten of Cups, Four of Cups. Interesting. Um, someone could be stressed, anxious, or feeling guilty about a connection. 
someone's not happy in a connection or they weren't happy in a connection. Um, I feel also that there was um, no passion possibly or just someone that wasn't into this connection like another person was with the Four of Cups. Tell me about judgment. Oh, okay. Wow. All right. So with judgment, we have the eight of cups. So someone walked away from a situation here. Um, anything else for judgment? What other messages do you have for judgment? Thank you. Oh my God, that's a lot. Okay. We have the two of wands. Someone trying to make a decision here of some sort. Fork in the road. We have the Ace of Wands and the Tower. Yeah, something happened here that has opened the door for a new beginning. I feel like someone had some sort of awakening or clarity. Um, someone wants to possibly revive something for some of you. For others of you, someone has gone through a karmic cycle of some sort with the Tower and now it's time for a new beginning here. Bottom of the deck, three of swords. Again, I feel like this tower was very painful. Tell me about this seven of pentacles. Yeah, the fool. Someone was looking at the past, wondering if something was going to grow or something was going to come out of it. And what's going to come out of it is a new, a new journey. Tell me more about the seven of pentacles. Some of you were probably wondering if you were ever going to start something new with someone as well. And I feel like you are. This is a new beginning here. I feel like with the tower and the wheel, there were there was a huge shift, a huge change for you, Capricorn. Tell me more about the seven of wands, please. Five of swords. Yeah, someone here probably invested in the wrong thing. Um, if you notice this person's picture is very upset and sad that they lost. Someone took advantage of a situation here. Someone didn't play fair. I feel like you are probably thinking if you spent your time and effort in the wrong thing and you are sad about losing now but i feel like you don't realize that there's something new for you yeah look the empress there's there's a new opportunity for you to grow something here tell me about this three of swords this could have been a third party situation with the three of swords or just something that caused you a lot of pain heartbreak the devil and the star wow I feel like this was a toxic situation, an unhealthy attachment here. Um, I feel like you're healing from the situation though with the star. You are also there Capricorn with the devil card. It could be just you healing from this situation. I have also sign of Aquarius there. Page of wands, the beginning of something new, an initial spark, an initial beginning here um this is a message that starts something new it could be a small message but it's that initial spark that gets something started i feel like you either have met someone or will meet someone or are dealing with someone that has renewed that spark for you tell me about the fool we got the fool twice here tell me about okay Eight of Swords, okay, this is about kind of being in your head, not making, not being able to see a way out of your situation here. Eight of Pentacles, working on yourself, putting in effort, and the Ten of Pentacles, beautiful. I feel like a lot of you are worried about this new beginning, but this new beginning is going to bring about stability and long-term love. You might not see that right now because of the Eight of uh, swords you might be in your head about it but that's where it's headed king of wands under the deck so someone very uh, attractive um, passionate here someone that takes action as well there's a queen of wands that just flipped over tell me about the king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn energy here six of cups what 
Anything else for the King of... Oh my gosh. Anything else for the King of Pentacles, please? Okay. Wow. Five of Wheels, Six of Cups. Who got this? Pisces got these cards together as well. Um, or like the Five of Wheels clarify the Six of Cups, something like that. But this could be someone from your past or just a past life connection here. With Five of Wheels, some of you were probably wandering alone, um, feeling abandoned, feeling um, struggling perhaps financially or just struggling with your situation. And then here comes this King of Pentacles, or maybe you're transitioning into this energy. Could be someone from your past with Six of Cups though, because the wheel is here. We do have a tower as well. King of Pentacles under the deck again. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune for Capricorn. When the wheel turns, nothing is the same again. Um, I feel like though with the sun down here, this was this is going to bring you happiness is what I see. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this wheel is turning to bring you a solid offer from someone. Tell me more about this Wheel of Fortune, please. Seven of Cups. Interesting. Almost like you're going to have options now. You fantasized about this too for some of you. Seven of Cups is also daydreaming. Um, trying to figure out a way to go about something. This person could be thinking how to approach you, how to make this happen. There's the page of wands again. Someone's going to deliver a message here, a message of passion, um, a message that is, you know, stable. Like someone wants to go study you. Somebody wants to um, invite you out for a drink. Um, let's move in together. I mean, it could be anything like that. Like, I feel like they're thinking they might start with something small with Page of Wands, like a date, but they're thinking long term here. Six of Swords, this person or you have left a situation and heading towards stability here. Uh, peace. The Emperor under the deck. So someone's finding their confidence again. Someone is being able to be decisive. Um, someone's thinking about how to make this happen. Um, how to be stable and grounded um, could be an Aries as well that you're dealing with tell me about this knight of swords someone's rushing in to deliver a message here truth here three of wands someone's wait someone's sending a message and someone's waiting for a response tell me more. okay whoa we got the hangman okay so someone could be um kind of hesitating before Almost like they, they don't know which, which way to go about this. So they're like, you know, either stuck right now and thinking with the hangman, trusting and letting go um, here um, with the hangman as well. The hangman is almost somebody that's like spiritually connected. So they're just like, whatever happens, happens. It's meant to happen um, energy as well. So, wow, nine of wheels or nine of pentacles. Um, this person could be seeing you this way. Capricorn, someone stable, attractive, self-reliant, independent. Um, I feel like one of you is single and the other one's kind of like rushing in to, to make their move here. Two of Swords, again with the indecision. This person is in their head about this. Could be this energy over here with the Nine of Swords because this is also, it's almost like they want this Ten of Cups really badly and they're like, I don't know. They they don't want to miss an opportunity, but they just might because they're so in their head. Tell me about the sun. Tell me about the sun. This is happiness here. Spirit, what is the sun doing here for Capricorn? Whoa, that is way too many. The hermit wanted to pop out though. What is the sun doing here? King of Wands. Okay. 
someone's going to take action and it's going to be like they're going after their happiness here they're going after what makes them happy what makes them feel alive is what i'm getting anything else for the sun ten of wands yeah this person probably wants to express how they feel they've been carrying this with them or um, they're ending something, they're letting a burden go. And I'm, I'm looking at these two cards here, they're, they have very similar colors. So, you know, someone probably had some baggage here with whatever pain they were experiencing. And I feel like they're gonna be, they're, this is gonna be transformed with the King of Wands here. Knight of Wands under the deck. This message, this new attraction, this new full energy is going to bring bring you about happiness and healing. Tell me about this Three of Wands. I've got the Three of Wands twice here. Tell me about this Three of Wands. There's three of Wands down here. Seven of Swords. Interesting. Someone's kind of being sneaky and watching the other person is what I'm getting here. Anything else for this Three of Wands? They're trying to get away um, with something or just behind the scenes. They're thinking about strategy here. With the Seven of Swords and the Three of Wow, Two of Cups. This person is thinking, how am I going to get my two of cups? I got to like think about how I'm going to make this happen. Hold on. Yeah, look at this. Oh my gosh. Knight of cups, nine of cups. Look at this. This person wants to make an offer here, to have their offer be accepted here, to go after their, their soulmate, their, the person that they they see themselves with forever here. Either you are their wish fulfillment or they are your wish fulfillment, Capricorn. But whatever it is, I feel like you are going to accept this cup. Look, they're, they're both holding a cup here in this two of cups. It's going to be a very beautiful partnership and I love it. I feel like this fork in the road is a, is a blessing for you. Um, this coming apart has brought about a new possibility a new journey a new road to go on i'll leave it here capricorn thank you so much for checking out this video um please hit the like button if it resonated with you or let me know in the comments what this situation is all about i'd love to hear about it if it didn't resonate with you that's okay it just wasn't your reading this time around feel free to check out your other placements for more messages sometimes those can resonate more and yeah i'm gonna leave it there hopefully i'll see you in the next video take care